What up? What up? What up? What are you guys up to, man? Just came in on here for a little bit, just so we could talk some sports cards. What's going on, man? Hope everybody's having a, a good Monday night. Everything good. Hope you guys have some good sales, listing, the whole shebang. You know how it goes. Came on here real quick so we could talk some sports cards. Just on here for a little bit. Not too long. Just for a little bit, probably about a good 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. How's it going, man? How's everybody doing? We've got this focused here. Here we go. It's a little better there. Oh, that was too close here. What up, what up? Hey, everybody's having a great day. It's been a productive day on my end. Just going to go ahead and uh, talk some sports cards, you know, just for a little bit. Just take a little break from our listing and running around and, you know, but just with everyday stuff. Let's see what we're going to get into right now. I'm testing out the new webcam, too. Hopefully it looks a little better because I know the other one was looking kind of... You know, not too hot. <laughs> it was already giving me problems, so I had to go ahead and get a new one. Just wanted to test it out. But yeah, I'll share some cards I got with you guys. Give you guys some little history from what I got. You know, you guys know who this guy is. Jackson. There you go. Just trying to get the reflection from the thing, but yeah, it's one of my cards. Hey, how you doing, James? Hey, Matt, how you doing, brother? Nah, I just came on here for a little bit, man, just to show some of my, some of my cards, some of my collection. You know, just try to take a little break. What's going on? That's one. Those my Bo Jackson. Autograph right there. Some cards I got to get sent in still. Get them graded. You know how it goes, man. How are you guys doing? How's everything going on your guys' end, man? Check this one out. It's a dope card. Russell Martin. Tell you the reflection out of there. You go. Pretty cool card. It's another card I got. Oh man, seriously. <laughs> You know what, though? Right now that you're talking about Kobe, I just got a, a Kobe Bryant uh, autograph card. So I, I need to get it. I need to get that uh, graded. I got it from a private pick. Then, of course, I got Ken Griffey Jr. Sorry, guys. So the glare is because it has a plastic on it. So the glare makes it a little. There you go. Junior. Ken Griffey Jr. I could go all day long, man. I have tons and tons of Griffey's that I still have to get graded. Hey, Larry, how you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. We're just hanging out. I'm just showing you guys some of my collection of cards that I got. From my uh, vault, like they say, from my personal collection. And also doing it because I just got a new webcam because the other webcam was looking kind of, kind of shitty. So I ended up <laughs> buying a new one. I got a new Logic Tech. So just trying it out to make sure everything's good on it. Because I know the other one looks kind of. It looked. It was looking kind of shitty already. Excuse my French. 
Now look. Pack of Griffies. Thanks, Larry. Glad to hear this is looking better. This is Ken Griffey Jr. Just sharing some of my uh, cards that I got. I'm a Dodger fan, diehard Dodger fan by heart, but uh, Ken Griffey Jr. has been one of my favorite baseball players of all time. Here's you guys when you won the award, too, for the All-Star. For the All-Star game. All right, I'm trying to tilt it forward because of the glare. I said I could Ken Griffey Jr. all day long. Ken Griffey Jr. all day long. Got another Ken Griffey Jr. here. And another one. Man, another one. <laughs> yeah, I know. You go all day long with the Griffies, but <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys with the Ken Griffies. But yeah, the last one. <laughs> I got more, but I don't want to bore you in all of those. Uh, yeah, this is one of the cards I was telling you about, Matt. Kobe Bryant. Rookie Purple Signature Limited Edition. It's already graded. Gems in Mint 10. Just showing you guys some of my uh, personal collection stuff that I got. One of the greatest of all time. This is one of them. And here's the other one. The other one greatest of all time. Sorry for the glare, guys. Michael Eric Jordan. Also Jim Mint 10. These are from my private collection. Yeah, I have another Kobe that I'll show you right now, Matt. Uh, I think I have it on my other pile here. But yeah, just you know, showing you guys uh, some of my collection that I, should, I tell you guys that I collect. Somewhere here. Yeah, so besides that, I mean, I pretty much collect everything. Oops. Just dropped one of my Griffies. Got it in a sleeve. <laughs> also got some of these. The Pokemon cards. There's a 1999 Pokemon Jungle. It's a Mint 9. I don't know how much of like, if you guys even collect these, but I tend to collect them once in a while when I get a good deal on them. This is a 2016 Pokemon Japanese First Edition card. As you can see, all the writings in Japanese. It's a near Mint 7, which is not bad. It would be nice if it would have been an 8 or a 9. But, you know, you can't always hit the home runs like they say, you know. <laughs> yeah, here's the, the one I was, I was uh, telling you about, Matt. Hey, that's my Kobe Bryant. It's autographed. I just got to get it, authenticate it, make sure it's the real deal, which I'm, I know it is because I got this from a another collector that has a bunch of Kobe Bryant memorabilia, and a lot of it is authenticated, so, and the signatures look identical, so, but yeah, that's my other Kobe Bryant card I was telling you about. His stuff's going through the roof right now, being a collector and it's going through the roof. And we got a couple other Ken Griffey's that already have uh, graded. Yeah, even if they're not signed, Matt, they're still worth some money. Anything Kobe Bryant is highly collectible right now. 
There's another. This one's a near near mint. Mint eight. Oh, it wouldn't have been nice if uh, Blobo Voodoo was on here. I know he would like this card. Sammy Sosa. 1990 Tops. It's a Beckett, but it's a six. It's an excellent mint. The only reason I got this is uh, because I got a good deal on the bundle of cards that I got. So that's the only reason I picked it up. Then I got him. Patrick Mahomes. Mint or better, 10. Yeah, Sammy Sosa looks different, man. He's almost unrecognizable. I don't know what the heck he did to himself, bro. <laughs> He's like unrecognizable, man. I tell you, man, I don't know what the heck he did to himself, but. Then I have another Ken Griffey. Beckett. Ten minutes. I have Griffey's all day long. This is a Beckett. Got a Mike Piazza. Yeah, this is just one uh, little tote I have of uh, cards that I have. I still have a lot more. I have like eight or nine, nine totes full. Like I tell you, I've been collecting for years and years. I mean, I've been collecting since I was eight years old. <laughs> just to give you an idea how long I've been collecting. And here, here's another Griffey. This one's a mint nine. And I got a Tim Duncan rookie card. So a mint 10. Hello, Lori. Welcome. I'm just here showing some of my cards. Just, you know, taking a little break from listing and packing. Come on, Magic. Let's centered so you can get on the focus here it's a little off focus nice how you doing Louie trying to get this one to focus a little bit but the glare of it because of the plastic there you go the Mint 9, 1995 Stadium Club, Magic Johnson. Just showing some of my collection of cards that I have. Just taking a little break. Yeah, man, I mean, if you guys are into cards, you guys should really uh, look into them and to resell them as well. They're good resellers. See what these I got too. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes I got two. All right, let me pull up a few more out of my arsenal here. These right here. Hope you guys are having a good night. Being having a productive night. This stack right here, yeah, just give you an idea of the stack. You should try, Louie. I mean, I'm, like I said, I've been collecting them since I was a kid, and you know, as you go, you you just keep going and you learn a lot of stuff. You know, you should go through them, Matt. I'm sure you'll have a uh, you have a couple of uh, treasures in that pile.
that's awesome, Larry. I would love to learn more about coins. I mean, I'm, I'm like a beginner when it comes to coins, but there's some some coins that I know which one are valued, like the silver silver dollar ones. And but I will, I'm, I am actually trying to learn that more because uh, you believe it or not, you come across coins a lot. At least I do. So, but yeah, like I'm saying, this pack right here of cards, these are all Michael Jordan cards that I still need to get sent to get graded. Okay, this is a long time. Well, let me try this better. I'm trying to have my face so I focus on the card here. Hmm. I should cover my face. There you go. Come on, focus, camera, focus. There you go. It's a lot of Jordan cards that I got. I've already had uh, offers from another collector that I am friends with wanting to buy all these Jordan cards for me, but my goal is to get them all graded and to sell them. Hold on to them a little longer and cash them in. The Al Jordans. It's another one. The greatest of all time. This one's a pretty cool card. You can see him slam dunking over Patrick Ewing on this one. That was a pretty cool picture right there. <laughs> yup, that's how you do it, buddy. You you got it, Louie. That's how you do it. I know a lot of you probably remember this. This was a famous poster. I know a lot of us had this poster when we were young. At least I know I did. Jordan holding the moon. <laughs> that was classic. In Diamond Sports. Jordan. Here's another one. Here's Jordan and Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen, another awesome player. It's another Jordan. <laughs> Thanks, Louie. Like I said, I, I've been collecting for a long time. This is only like a little tote that I pulled out. I still got like four or five totes full of uh, cards. They're all sleeved up and they're all in plastic like this. I think I was all, yeah, that's all the only thing I have going here. Yeah, I have another one here. This one's a 1992 Tops Michael Jordan All Star. It's 
so yeah I'll just try to keep it up with the cards and have different genre of cards I'm put these back in here yeah man just come in here just hang out a little bit take a little break from listing I was going like a madman I think I listed like 30 things today Yeah, sounds good, man. Yeah, I'll hang out for five, man. Hold on. There you go. Focus, focus. Come on. Yeah, not focus on there. Focus, focus. I'm trying to get it to focus, but I guess it's stuck on them. And refocus here. Sorry, guys. Try to get it to focus a little bit. There you go. Let me put some of these on. Yeah, but like I was showing Matt earlier, this is one of the cards that. Autograph Kobe Bryant. Still wearing the number eight jersey. Trying to get this bad boy graded. And uh, this guy should be the limits with this one. I was showing Matt this card earlier, so it's one of my holy grail cards. That I've actually picked. Yeah, I'm trying to, Louie. I'm trying to get it going, man. I just got into a whole listing nonstop. I was just going and going. Hope you guys are doing good. You guys had a good uh, day of sourcing and listing, all that good stuff. There's another one here. Oh, I think I showed this one. Bo Jackson. Hold on, guys. Let me try something real quick. For some reason, it's stuck on. It's not focusing here. Come on, focus. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off right now. I just came on here for a little while just to distract myself a little bit. Oh no, I'm not saying you you will distract, bro. <laughs> just came in here to show some of the cards that I got. Yeah, uh, Mike Piazza. Beckett. Yeah, we were talking about Sammy Sosa earlier. With this one. We we're just talking how he looks so different now. It seems like unrecognizable. All right, bro. Give me a second here. I'm posting it now.
<laughs> he used to do his finger kisses. Louie, I remember that. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what it's doing. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm pulling out of this tub right here. This is a little tub compared to the ones I got. Yeah, I'm going to have to read up on that. Yeah, you changed a lot, man. Hey, Jonathan, what's up, buddy? How you doing? All right, here you go. What's up, dude? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good, good. I'm, I can't believe I'm on with a Dodgers fan right now. Bro. <laughs> hey, that's history in the making, bro. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. I'm just messing with you. Hey, it's but all love, bro. I've been checking out your auctions with Mike and stuff, dude. Uh, respect, bro, for getting up there. That's that's tough. That's funny. Yeah. How really? long you been reselling for? Uh, pretty much since I was a kid, bro. Yeah, me too. I've been Flea doing this since Dodgers. I was eight years, eight years old. That's me too, bro. So I pulled out this tote right here, and it's been buried in my closet for a while, dude. But I wanted to show you the shirt. I think I'm going to send this shirt to Mike. You think he'll like it? Yeah, he'll like that shirt. I, That's just, awesome. I just got it, dude. It was like dead stock at uh, yeah. the flea market. Yeah, that's an awesome shirt. Yeah, I think he'll like it, bro. Dude, so when I was a kid, I loved, like, cards. And there was a card shop, like, a couple miles from my house. Yeah. And I figured out this scam where, where like, if you got a duplicate in the pack of these, mm -hmm. they were called crowns. If you got a duplicate, they send you a pack. Yeah, they do. So <laughs> yeah. I would I would just stack up the duplicates. And I remember getting, like, a box delivered on my porch. I think I was, like, 12 or 13 years old, dude. And we just had, like, just boxes of cards. And they were, yeah. they were these ones. I pulled this down, too. Oh, nice, bro. Yeah, this was like oh, the, the nice. Pro Bowl collection. And these were, were the ones, these were like the crown cards. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Those are all the yeah. crown cards of the day, man. Those are gonna, right yeah, yeah, go for it, bro. Oh, I got uh, to go grab my charger. My, my, my shit's about to die. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, man, go for it. Oh, we got someone else coming in. Hey, dude. What's up, brother? I'm just going to listen in on you guys. I'm going to do some listing. Let me see if I can get this. I'm using my phone, so I'm trying to get it to stay still. It's going to fall. Be all it's shaky awesome. like that. Dude, that, that one one basketball card you had of Kobe. Yeah. Oh, man, that is a holy grail, bro. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, man. I'm, I'm going to get ready to send it in and get it graded. Yeah. Get it authenticated, yeah. I would. Yeah. Um. I was on Joey uh, Joey Butterbeans watching, listening to him, and then <clears throat> when I was scrolling through YouTube, I saw you were live. So I was like, "Let me go pop over, show some love." But he was talking it. about he had some he had some cards and he had them signed too, some baseball cards. And I asked mm -hmm. him, but he wasn't. He I guess he was just so busy. He had like fifty people in there. Yeah. But if you have a baseball card, they don't doubt they'll they'll still grade it if it's signed. Or yeah, they, card? yeah, the cards you could get them where they could actually authenticate the autograph, and then still get the card at the same time. Wow, is it extra so the, to authenticate the autograph? Yeah, they authenticate the autograph, and then they'll do the the grading on the card if you want. Right on, right on. I heard we it's got a good. Giants fan in here, man. You uh -oh. know it, man. Until I die, <laughs> dude. I lived in San Jose. And I, my uncle used to take me there. I, I got a story one day. I'll tell you guys in private, but I can't say it online. <laughs> that, that's our, our single A team down there, San Jose Giants. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I, re I remember going to see uh, Tim Lincecum when they first drafted him, going down there and oh, watching man. him in like a little – it's a super small stadium. It only holds like, I don't know, like a thousand or something, so it's cool. But you're out mm -hmm. in Texas? Yeah, I ended up in Texas. I moved around a lot, yeah. What part of Texas? 
I'm in Central. They call it the Hill Country. Yeah. Central Texas. Austin. Nice. That's cool. Where are you at, man? I'm I'm in the Bay Area still. I'm right outside San Francisco. Like one I don't know how you afford it. You said City I'm, Oak? No, it's a little town, Pacifica. It's right on the beach, right next to. I know, right I know Pacifica. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah, that. Yeah. So right there. I couldn't afford it. My grandparents were, uh, they bought some property and had some That's investment evident. property. So if it, was, if it wasn't for that, no way, bro. No way. Yeah. Oh, I know. One, this, be yeah. one bedroom apartments are like three grand here. Yeah. It's pricey out there. It's insane. So I'm lucky I, they got like a little uh, duplex and I got a little studio down here and I don't pay that. Just you're <laughs> blessed, bro. You're blessed. Yeah. Yeah. I got, a two car, I got a two car garage too, all my tools and stuff, so I can't complain at all. Yeah. Yeah, just don't take it for granted. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, I know how it is. And it's uh it's crazy out here right now too, especially with what's going on and everything. Okay, baby, thank you. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, because I you know, I used to my stomping grounds used to be Santa Cruz. That's where they're burning it up, right? Everywhere. So yep. um I have a little piece of property in a little tiny cabin outside of Yosemite too. There's a fire up there. Oh, there's yeah. a fire in yeah. in Sonoma. There was one yeah. down in, in in Southern California, Santa Cruz, and now it's getting into like San Mateo County. So like half it's oh, coming up to like Montera. Nope. I haven't crazy. watched the news, but I've been hearing about it. Like you know, it's I went crazy. out to the flea market on uh, Saturday, and like that's in Concord. Um, mm -hmm. And like it was so hard to breathe. The smoke is insane. Yeah, you gave her watch Matt the part time pickers. I feel like I've seen them in some chats. I don't know if I, I'm subscribed to them though. He doesn't really come on a lot. He's kind of he's he's a good guy, but he won't ever do live. But he's really sincere. Check him out one day. He's he's pretty he's he's pretty down to earth. Yeah, nice. yeah. He, he's he, out by me. So he's like, yeah, he's actually closer to San Jose. I, I uh, him and I were talking, and um, long story short, you know, he he tells everybody he's like, um, it's right above San Jose. It was a, I'm trying to remember what it's called, but it's like where the throughway is, where you go through uh, Piedmont uh, over the mountains to like you're going back to Modesto no or something like that. But yeah, he's like above. No uh, it's probably above that. Yeah. I can't remember that one other city, but Mantica, he was saying Modesto, like Oakdale. No, no, no. He's closer into the bay, like right above north of San Jose, but it's it's way above Milpitas, like whatever those big. I can't remember what it's Santa. It's I can't it's remember. It's nice down there. Actually, I think there's a fire on that side of the bay too. Like everywhere wow. around the bay is like surrounded right now. It's crazy. We he said the smoke is terrible. Yeah, it's bad. We had a crazy lightning storm. Like, I mean, I've been here my whole life and I've never seen lightning like this. Like I have pictures on my phone and it's like, like I took, I was, I was videotaping and like when, when the lightning hit, it looked like it was daytime, like in my video, there were like Damn. four and five, four and five different <laughs> bolts at once. And it was like out of nowhere too. It's apocalyptic, crazy. ain't it? That's crazy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> asteroid or the aliens or something. Something's next, but pandemic and, exactly. and floods and stuff. Yeah, insane. But what you got in your tote, bro? Yeah, you want to see? I, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even. I know Louis Farr wants to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I just took a. I'm taking a break right now. That's why I jumped on, and then I got a new webcam, so wanted to try oh, it out too. We got some rookies: Damon Stoudemire, Joe Smith. Nice. Zach. This is like this is like Christmas for me. Yo. I haven't been I haven't been through this in at least ten years. Wow. There goes a Kurt Schilling rookie that should be in a sleeve, probably. Yo, Kurt Schilling. Man. Get out. Yo. I know I got him right here too, so I'm gonna have to start doing that. Mm-hmm. I always have those all the yeah, time. Right huh? Hang on. Yeah, yeah. I need to buy me some more too. Some Steve Youngs. There's a Jerry. Jerry Rice cards are, are good, right? Yeah. I have a bunch. Um, I, I was telling you, Luis, like any Dodger card I got, like yeah. it was like, here, this is nope. Because that's <laughs> just the way I was raised. No, like, the, Dodger stuff, the Dodger stuff doesn't stay. 
know, it's just like me with the Matt William cards yesterday when I was pulling them. I was like, oh man, another one. <laughs> there, there's, nice. old Ronnie, there's a Ronnie Lott. That one's Ronnie Lott. Yeah. Uh, that one was signed. I remember as a kid, I met him, so I probably took that with me. Yeah. Me. Yeah, in the last ten years, I, I kind of fell fell behind. I need to catch up on the new players and stuff. And it's like, but like I, you know, I go back. Like I, I never really watched the. I was never a fan of the Dodgers, but like I always love Jose Canseco and stuff like that. You know. Yeah, Jose Canseco was a good player. He was one of the best, bro. You know, I almost jumped over to the Dodgers side for a while when I, because I used to go see the Giant games all the time. Then I loved my uncle. He was a big ass A's fan, but. He would take me to see the the Giants because he knew I loved them. But yeah, yeah. A's were badass too. I just got um, a late. Uh, I contacted a lady online. She posted a, a post about an estate sale, like a private estate sale she was having. Mm -hmm. And I saw in the picture that she put on Craigslist, she had a bunch of Giants, like, and they looked like old vintage T-shirts. So I went yeah. over there, and I bought everything she had. Every T-shirt was either two dollars, two dollars or five dollars. What? They were all like, like uh, ninety-two from spring training. I got like a bunch of two thousands. I got a really cool, um, the final series at Candlestick Park. It was uh, yeah. the Giants versus the Dodgers. I got a uh, like a oh, wow. brand new, brand new shirt of that. So that's mostly what I, what I'm into is clothes. Uh, so anytime I get something like you that, you like I'm that sports, single I'm a stitch. Yeah. Yep. You see it, bro. I'm, I love the single United. stitch. How'd you How'd you get that score? You cleaned up. How'd you get there so early? That was a good score. So actually, yeah. She posted it on Craigslist, and I had sent her an email, and I didn't hear from her for a couple of days. So I thought it was done, and then and then just randomly one day last week, I got the text message, and it was. And she lives in Pacifica too. So when I texted me, it like reminded me how excited I was. And I was like, and I dropped everything. And I'm like, I can be there in 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. I showed up there and it was just like, dude, she had like, it was, she was a huge Giants fan. And I think her daughter who she lost was a Giants fan too. I love it. Yeah, I love but, it, man. Like there was this, I, I should go pull them right now. There's like this super cool old like Barry Bonds, but it looks like, like a, mm -hmm. a, somebody drew it. And it's like his head is just like the whole size of the shirt. Oh Everything man! Everything is like single stitch. It's super cool. I shoot, me, shoot me, shoot me, and shoot me an Instagram if you ever find that. I just want to see it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post them up. I haven't even taken pictures of them yet. There was a, a, a Carlos Santana Giants. Oh, nice. Super cool. So I, I got, I got real lucky on that score. Yeah, that's awesome. I miss, I miss Cali, I miss Cali ba baseball, man. You know, like. Every time I mention right here, everybody. I think you know. we all miss real baseball right now. Yeah, same here. Yeah. I didn't oh, yeah. even get, get a spring training this year. I was supposed to go the weekend they shut everything down. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've, never, I've never been to spring training. I know I would just have a blast out there. Yeah. Last year, Cincinnati picker, he went. Was it last year or was it early this year? I think it was. Maybe. I don't remember. Probably this. I don't remember. It may have been early this year before they. they Anyway, he went. He went to Arizona to go see the, you know, the Reds get yeah. all ready. And it's like that was nice to see him do like a video about that. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's another good card right there. There's a KG. Dude. The yeah. kid, yeah. not a rookie, but hey, all all his cards are they have value right now, whether it's a little or a lot. But mm -hmm. all his cards sell. So, so I feel like when I put like these, when I put these in there, like I didn't really know, you know what I mean? Or it could have been a rookie who I wasn't aware of at the time. Yeah. That if I go through these now, Tim Hardaway. Mm -hmm. Like if I go through these, I'm sure there's probably some scores. There's some Don Russ, some some '87 Don Russ. That's a Ricky Henderson. Yeah, Ricky Henderson card. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Right now, I've been, I've been telling myself I'm gonna go through it, and I haven't. I forgot I even had these. Oh, look at that! Still in package. I think I got a couple of them in here. Nice. You just talking about Matt Williams? Yeah, one. Matt Williams. There he is. <laughs> hey man, he's a good mm -hmm. player though, man. I gotta give it to him though. And Will Clark. 
Well, Clark too. That was another good player too. I, you could tell. You could tell where I'm from based on what I'm collecting. Yeah. You know. You're a true fan, man. Yep. There's a TO rookie. Oh yeah, they're all ones right there, yo. But see, none of my stuff is graded. Yeah. Luis, it don't matter. You see, anything you see, you want, brother. It's yours. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll let you know, man. No, oh, that. A Rod with the C. A Rod, yeah. Two. One of it says one of two thousand on the back. Yeah. Oh, dang! Got the first one. Is it one of two thousand? It says one of two thousand. Yeah, then you then you got the first one, and that has oh, value. Shit, bro. Grade, grade that, dude. Grade that yeah, one day, yeah, bro. That's gonna have value right there, especially if it's number one. Man, that's gonna have value right there. That's crazy. That's the first one, bro. Wow. Yeah, yeah you probably have a gold mine in that tote, bro. I'm saying that's <laughs> sweet. Where this is just stuff you've been collecting all this time. This was stuff I had when I was a kid, like things I was buying when I was a kid. And I, and I, only thing I ever got rid of was Dodger cards. I said that, so I was like, probably <laughs> gave away the Piazza rookies and all that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a Man, my mom, she probably got rid of half my totes. So I got to go find them. My, uh, <laughs> my grandpa tells that story too. He says, oh, I had I had uh, all these Mickey Mantle cards and everything, and I came home one day and they were gone. My mom said oh. she donated them. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Uh, I hate those stories. Mm. You know. Some David Robinson rookies. Yeah, David Robinson's are worth some money too. Especially when they're Hall of Famers, so the, the value of the card goes up. Yeah, mm -hmm. here's an MJ. Another Michael Jordan, yep. Another one here. Yep, there's another one. What do you want to pay me for the bin? <laughs> I'm, te I'm tempted, bro. I'm tempted right now. To I better leave the room now. <laughs> this would be a private deal here. It's like, get off a of stream yard and just do it in the backyard. <laughs> no, he, has a lot of, he has a lot of good cards, so you have a lot. Do you have potential in that? As long as he leaves what he showed you in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was uh there used to be I was telling you there used to be that card shop down the road, but they closed now. Yeah. I remember I remember picking up like the Beckett's, the magazines, and like trying mm -hmm. to keep track of like the value mm -hmm. of my cards. Yeah, the price of the card. Yeah. Now all it I takes is that. like a phone that you get to look at. Yo, that's well, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, Beckett, you know, fluctuates so much now, it's like you said, and then all the stuff that's going on. And it, I think it also depends on the collectors too, you know. Yep. I'm glad to see the resurgence come back where people are starting <laughs> to like give props back, you know, with these new cards coming out. So these are what these are what those cards were, like the regular really, yeah. ones. Yeah, like yeah. The, those crowns and then those no crown uh, too. the palm trees are the were like the special, you know, the Pro Bowl editions of those. Yep. Jonathan says he'll start the bid at five bucks, man. Uh, he's sold. He's sold. <laughs> Good luck. Fifteen years, fifteen years of memory sold. You can have it for you can have it for four, Jonathan. <laughs> Dude, I'm in that in that tote. Dude, I'm I'm gonna be up all night now, like trying to research each card that I find. You should, man. You should research them. I mean. Cool. You'll be surprised uh, you know, a pile of, of uh, cards. You, you're going to laugh. My, my um, Remember, Luis, I was telling you the night I used to do flea markets, and, and yeah, yeah. Uh, my best friend, David Nunes, who got me the job at the flea market when I was a kid, you know, and I stood with these guys, and it and, and turns out one of the old guys he, his, his, uh, was a son, and he lived in Pacifica, and I was really young. It was like 79 or 80 or 81, and... Uh -huh. I was a really young kid, but like he's like, I need help at the flea market. You think your mom will let me come? And I'm like, I don't know, you know. So ended up going, and I remember that was like a badass flea market in Pacifica. And I was like, you know, because it wasn't like San Jose's flea market at the time, where right. you can you know, still find a lot of stuff. But what, what, why did that place close in Pacifica? You think? I don't. To be honest, I don't even remember. I know every year we have a, um, 
it's called the Fog Fest, where like there will be uh, like a big festival. We close down like one of our big streets, and it's not re- even really like a flea market. It's more like people who make goods, you know, like craft yeah. and food. Like a craft and- fair, a little bit. Yeah, but um, I know my mom. Um, she ran a flea market one year where we had like 40 vendors. She did the food. She did like all the spacing and everything like that. And it was like a big hit. And I've been, I've been thinking I wanted to do it before this whole pandemic hit. I was like looking at locations and trying to figure out how to maneuver to right. do it because we need one here. Um, and, then this whole, and then this whole thing hit and it's like, you'll never be able to get insurance or whatever. And you're trying to, trying to follow what they're saying, but. Mm-hmm. So this is a Philly picker. I'm hoping okay. next year when things calm down. He, he knows his stuff too. I like yep. his video. Oh, now we're getting, now we're getting into the real cards. Oh, and it's really <laughs> coming out. Yep. Yeah. Man, yeah you got some gold in there, man. Go golden nuggets. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Crazy. Uh-oh. Why? I wonder why they're sticky already <laughs> together. <laughs> Don't <laughs> you gotta get the humidifier. <laughs> <I know. laughs> hey, Craig, how you doing, buddy? Hey, man. I'm gonna. Uh... You said Mike's a big Sammy Sosa fan? Yeah. He's just a big Cubs fan. I think he's just a Cubs fan in general. Yeah. <laughs> Luis. No. <Nope. laughs> I yeah, miss him. Dude, I saw you. I had looked him up when, when like, you guys were talking about how he changed. I'm like, what? I was like, what? <laughs> he had that pimp yeah. hat on. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's Sammy? Yeah. He's almost there like a couple of Go ahead. What's that? No, I said he's almost unrecognizable. I, yeah, I was like, "Well, yeah, he's scary now." Yeah, <laughs> he ain't that bad. He ain't that bad, but yeah, he does look different. You know, he's got he's gotten he got he got really bad, and then he's like kind of pulled himself up a little bit. But if you look at like not the most recent ones, the ones before, yeah. it's, whoa! Look a couple years back, and you'll yeah. see. Yeah, <laughs> for real. He was bad. Yeah, I don't want to know. I, 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 want, I want to keep my picture of him, you know, young and strong and, you know. <laughs> I you know, miss those you know, how We all want to remember him. <laughs> <laughs> you those know, it's like, oh, go God. Oh, God. Those were the days when him, it was him, Mark McGuire. Uh, yep. Before all that. Was stuff. there, of course, Barry. Where they're just yeah. like hitting bombs, like at least two a game. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just P rods. That's the era when they all got in trouble with the juice, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they made them stop. They should have kept them. They should have let them keep going. Yeah, yeah. that's what I should do. We should just let them keep going. The thing is, though, the pitchers were taking it too. Yeah, so it's like everybody did it. Everybody was too. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I was in New York around that time, and I remember they were just like, "We're gonna come down hard on them." I'm like, "Y'all, you know." Well, they, they're anyway. still – I don't know if they'll ever let Barry in the Hall of Fame. You know, I'm so sick of all that stuff. And, like, with Pete Rose and stuff, I'm like, leave Pete yeah. alone. You know, what yeah. he did was unethical, but outside of baseball. You yeah, know, it, right. kind of, it kind of – you know, but anyway. They even went back and, like, traced all of his games and, like, if any decision he did had an outcome and they were like, no, there's oh, no yeah. – yeah. nothing that he did, you know? Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I think there's also some hidden underlying kind of like there were some agendas there, you know, with always the big people in power, but you yeah, know, man. like somebody's like, you need to get him. And I think what it is, he's it's not that he screwed somebody over, he like won some good bets against some people that did not like but it. When yeah. you know when you know baseball like that, I'm I'm sure it's a lot easier, you know what I mean, to understand, you know, who's pitching, who's who's hot right now in the lineup. All right, yeah. is the dome open, is the dome closed? Third baseman's got a bum calf. Like all he, yeah. when you're when you're an intelligent baseball mind like that, like he, yep. all those things come natural to him. So it's easy yep. to, to guess outcomes. He's not even guessing. I'm sure his percentage rate is way. Yeah, higher. it's all calculated. Yeah. Like you said, it's like they they get you know. It's like he eats, breathes, and sleeps that yeah. stuff. And well, you have to be to hit, to hit like he does. Yeah. To hit like he did. Pete Rose should be in. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Yep, I agree right. too. 
He was one of my favorite ball players growing up. I got I, I actually got like, a, have a big sign Pete Rose in my room. Yeah. yeah. Anytime yeah. I find stuff on him, I buy it. Even if it comps at three dollars, I'll still buy it for me. Yeah, I have a couple of his cards too. I mean, he was a heck of a ball player, you know. He's long overdue for the Hall of Fame. I don't know why don't they just let him in now. I mean, this happened no so long ago already. So, so it's, like it's this, a red like tape political. Yeah, it's like that stupid code of like I played baseball for a long time, and it's like this this stupid code that they're trying to hold. But it's like mm-hmm. they didn't do it for the Astros last out. year. Yeah, they didn't. Nope, they didn't. That's all was happening when Joe Kelly was. Teasing those players before he got suspended. Mm-hmm. I gotta, I gotta get some of these in some cases, man. Yeah. Covers. Yeah, just set it. You know, just make an appointment, dude. Just like you know, we were talking about different reseller techniques, and just you really gotta just sit down and just say, "I'm gonna do it between this time and this time," and you know your schedule best than anybody. Yeah. So, like, be faithful to that stuff because you're you're the steward of that, I'm man. Pre- you want to keep pre- that stuff good. I'm pretty good with my clothes. Like I like, like I, I, we were talking. Like I like to do um, mm-hmm. flea markets and um, I'll do yep. thrifting and stuff like that. So as soon as I come home, if it doesn't fit me and I don't really like it, but I know that it'll sell, like it, it I yeah. have a certain spot on my wall. I take a picture and it goes up, no, and then it no. goes in a bin. So I'm good with I'm you, good with that. You dig the clothes, huh? Boom, yeah. But I I all, I always knew like I had this little honey hole. I have I actually have another another bin like that too. Um, that I haven't been through. It was it was underneath this one. So, yeah. I got some vintage Pittsburgh football shirts. I need to like I yeah. Like you said, you know, so much stuff, and it's like they're not necessarily you, single stitch, but they're just classic stuff. And usually, yeah. my sports stuff like goes a lot faster. I think sports are mm-hmm. really down. Like I think people want to wear that stuff, even if they're not going to the games. Like they're going yeah. over to a friend's house to watch the game. Mm-hmm. They're doing that, and they want to wear the gear. If they're yep. just sitting yep. at home, they're like, oh, I don't need to spend money on that or anything like yeah. that. And, and, the, and there's true fans on top of that, and you add that into, you know, like, I got to just, yeah. you, know, you know, it's like they're, they're going to buy that stuff. And then it, yeah. I think it's also just a great fashion. You know, people yeah. still love it. We love to wear, you know, if you're a sneakerhead and you got mm-hmm. your, your favorite team on, you like we always did when we, you know, we were kids. Back into and, it, yep. Yeah, and people still do. Like, you know, hell, I'm going out Saturday. I ain't going to get dressed up and just boom. Still look good and swag, and you know that's it. Up, that's it. Just man. go, yeah. You guys, you guys are pretty much open out there. See, we're like still like no restaurants. I can't even go get my hair cut. I've been trying to cut my hair with like the, put my own mirror up here. Like we're like fun. completely mm-hmm. still down. I mean, you could go to you could go to Target. You could go, you know, shopping or something. But like, you can't go. Yeah, but yeah. I bet y'all sh- y'all shelves must be more picked. Our, at Walmart and Target, those shelves are bare. You know, like with collectibles, whether you're doing Funko mm-hmm. or puzzles or, you mm-hmm. know, collecting action figures and dolls. And stuff. Mm, man, and I can only imagine what, what that, what's going on with y'all, you know, and just, man, it must be uptight, you know. I'm, uh, it is. Our shelves are bare. Like, so I do construction, too, and, like, it takes me an hour to get into Home Depot just from the line. But mm-hmm. I can go out on the weekend and nobody's going to these estate sales. Nobody's going here. So I'm like walking out of these sales, like just with like oh, huge scores. <laughs> nobody's That's going. You I gotta, buy yeah. It, bro. Yeah. yeah. So I, and I just keep buying it. I, I have some money set aside. So I'm like, I'm just going to buy it. And I know I'll just start listing all this slowly. So. Mm-hmm. 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 And and our malls and stuff aren't open. People aren't people aren't buying none of that none of those cheap clothes, none of that cheap stuff. So mm-hmm. ain't got no money. No, I know that's that's the thing too. Spend your money, like you said, you know, I want to buy what I want to buy. You know, like I want to I want to get all sported out, and I you know I don't want no I don't need to wear that stuff. You know, I want right. to wear my team. You know, and represent. And but I don't know. Yeah. I, I do too, and I but you couldn't pay me to wear a Dodgers hat. <laughs> I wouldn't wear a Giants hat either. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I it's don't even good. I don't even own a blue pleat piece of clothing. You know, I had an A's baseball cap, and I was going from when I was younger. I went to Europe for a while, and I went like about 
not quite a year, but maybe a half year or more. And I remember I said, I want to go, you know, somewhere outside the, the main like Europe continent. And, and I thought, well, let me go to Britain or something. They wouldn't let me go because I had a URL pass and they let you go for, you know, anywhere you want on that train. You, you know, I think I had like three, I don't know what it was, half a year, but you can go like 25 times or something and they sign it. And I used to change the number so I had an erasable pen so I could keep using days and keep getting on that train. But mm. they had a boat that went to Ireland and I went, okay, I'll go. And I remember I just got my backpack and got on that boat and it was crazy. When I got there, you're going to love this. So y'all, you remember the TV, remember the movie, there was a movie first. It was based on a play. They made a TV show called The Odd Couple. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Odd Couple. Yeah. Remember Oscar Madison? He was yeah. like hardcore. He was a hard. Was he a Yankees fan or was he a Mets? No, I think he was a Met. Mets fan, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I was a Mets fan when I lived in Queens. I was like, yeah, everybody hated me because they're like Yankees. You know, I'm like, no, Mets. <laughs> you know, because you know. Anyway, so I went across and I got there. And as soon as I got there, I was tired. I got my backpack and put it in this place I was sleeping as a youth hostel. And I had my, I had my A's cap on. So everybody kind of knew you're, you know, they call us Yanks. And I was like, <laughs> man. And I looked at this place and it had all the, all the, in Europe, they have menus inside, outside of the, like, the food establishments. And this place was kind of known to be a pub. And I was like, what is this place? And I looked and this guy comes out and he speaks with a, english accent i'm like we're in ireland you know so i said like, what's this place called and i'm like looking up and it i walk in the door and there's this mural and it's like as soon as you go to like well, what's my side of the opposite so it's like there's a whole wall and the wall's a mural of this bedroom with messy clothes and they had sneakers cut in half stuck and glued in the wall like if, you know like if it was a messy room and i'm like what the hell is this and i look and i look and i said what's the name of this place is it and they all look at me kind of weird like who are you you know like Oscar Madison's and I'm like Oscar Madison at the time I couldn't remember and I was like Oscar Madison I'm like oh shit They're, this is named after Oscar Madison you know from the high couple and I look over there and there and it was just like I sat down and I and I and I looked and they had a picture of Jack Klugman the actor that played the TV show guy you know his faithful faithful baseball fan yeah. and I and I sit down and then that English guy comes back in and ends up sitting on the side of the bar where I was and I was like, how you doing? He's like, hey, how you doing? And then he goes, oh, you're a Yank. And I'm like, oh, God. And the, uh, the guy comes up and goes, what do you want to drink? And the guy, the bartender was Irish. And I was like, uh, I'll have a stout. I'm like, I, you know, that's what they drink here. And he looks at me and he goes, yeah, I know. But what kind? And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm, I'm in trouble now. You know, and I was like, oh, and I look the at the British one. guy. They probably drink the warm beer out there, too. Well, yeah. thing, I was in this place called Cork. Cork Island is in the south. That's where they built the Titanic. And they they don't – okay, and Guinness is from Dublin. And Guinness is the, like the main stout kind of like, you know, Budweiser or something like that, you know. But they make the stout called Murphy's in, in, in Cork. And I had no idea. I said, well, what kind of – you know, which stouts do you have? I was, well, how many you got? And he's like – he's like, oh, God. He says, we got two. We got Murphy's and stout uh, – and we got, you know, the other. And I was like, the other? He's like, yeah. Guinness. He goes, what do you want? And I'm like, I look at the English guy and I'm like, oh crap. And he, he goes, don't ask. I'm not going to tell you. And, he's, and I was like, oh shit. I said, I better say the right thing. And I didn't know Murphy's was made there. And they all like, everybody stopped and staring at me. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'll have a Murphy's. And he's like, everybody's, you can see they all kind of went, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, after that. And he's like, where are you from? And I'm like, and he's like, are you a Canadian? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, no, you're not. And I'm, so I was like, I really want to just tell you something. And I said, y'all are y'all are making me nervous. And it's like, I just walked in there. I just want something to eat and just chill out. I said, but I like that picture of Jack Klugman up there. He's an American, so don't give me no shit. Your your bars, your pubs, named after an American. So leave me alone. And they, and I said, but I'm. And he's like, what do you think of our pub? And I'm like, hmm. and he's like, what? And I said. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm disappointed. He's, what do you mean we're, you're disappointed? He's, yeah, I'm gonna take your, your Guinness back, you know. And I said, no, it's a Murphy. And he goes, I said, the reason I'm a little disappointed is you don't have any American Major League Baseball memorabilia up there. I said, here's my hat. And I took my A's cap, and they all flipped out. And he's like, rounds on the house. And I was like, yeah, everybody got shit faced that night. I don't know how I got back to where I was sleeping. That's cool. It is crazy. Yeah. So I like my night. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it was fun. They were like they had like their first American baseball cap up there, and, and you know, nice. unfortunately, it was an A's cap. I wish it was a Giants or Mets. <laughs> I, I had this. I had not not as crazy story, but a similar story. I was in uh, Colombia, and I had a Giants hat on. And there's all these street vendors. You know, they'll they'll sell you bracelets or they'll sell you stuff. And uh, this one dude would always wait outside my hotel, and every time I would wear, I always had my Giants hat on. And every time he would just like ask me about my hat, how much, how much for the hat? <laughs> so like on my last night, I like took it off and I'm like, here you go, bud. Like you can have it. It's yours. And he was like, just like this is static. Like, huh? 12, yeah. 13 year old, 13 year old little boy. So, oh, so he was a teenager. Yeah. And he oh, knew me. He's like, giants, hated. giants, giants. And I'm like, yeah. Gigantes. Yep. Los gigantes. Hmm. That's it. That's awesome, dude. So, yeah. well, right yeah, on. Uh, I gotta subscribe to you, Louie. You put out videos too, or what? Yeah, I might mean, <laughs> try, but they're nothing to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> I got a live the other night, and guess who was in there? Yep, yeah. I was in there. We were there pretty, pretty, pretty late. He, he was helping me do the stream yard. He's like, Louie, you got. <laughs> I'm like, what do you do to push these buttons, dude? That was me. The the first time I jumped on too, I was like completely lost too. I didn't know. I had my I had like three screens open, like all these crazy echoes. <laughs> Sound like me. Yeah, but it For is real. what it is. We're all learning, so yep. And it's cool that you we got this platform. You know what I mean? You can meet people who do the same stuff that you do or into the same Definitely. stuff. Definitely. And okay. like the same subjects and sports and just, you know, to get to talk a little yeah. And chill. Yeah. But also, you know, we talked the resale talk too, you know. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, I learned, I've learned a bunch just, just by watching some of the channels just, and, mm -hmm. and not even so much on like the reselling game, but like, you know, what things could, could be worth or are worth money too. Like things I just completely mm -hmm. walked by. And it's like, mm -hmm. that was a dollar and it's $75. You know what I mean? And it's a quick sell. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been doing stuff like that. I've been just just that knowledge of those, you know, couple items and it's like that's invaluable. Yeah. And I wouldn't I would never have that without YouTube, so that's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that a lot. I'm sorry, Luis, go ahead. No, I said I agree with uh what Matt's saying, you know, that's how you learn a lot of stuff. I mean, me I always have that thing that you always learn something new every day. Yes, it could sir, be a yes. small thing or it could be as like a wow, you know. <laughs> Yeah. But you always learn something new every day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we love our wows, but, you know, we know we can't have the wow factor every day. But when I do, I do my semi so so, you know, mwah, mwah, mwah. it's like, yeah. but, yeah. you know, I know, you know, and it's it's funny because my daughter that she's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not kidding. I still do it to this day. People look at me, they're like, and only once in a while they kind of go, semi so so. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. he did, he did, <laughs> I don't he know. did the, the tap here first, right? Or was that somebody else? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's Sammy. Yeah. Wasn't that Sammy, right? Yeah, but yeah. I, th I think he tapped, tapped, yeah, tapped he did here. The and then up, yeah. yeah, he did the chest. Yeah, he, he touched the heart. He had to touch his heart. It, it was like his, you know, thank you, God. Yeah. 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 You see all these, today, all these right? players today wearing these, like, huge Cuban link chains, and it's like, how can you run down the first baseline or you know what I mean? How how is this huge seven pound gold chain yeah. hindered you? <laughs> if you if you if you from Cuba and you made it big, you yeah, gonna run with that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna run. Yeah. It's like <laughs> they they it's they work it out. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. Yeah. The so. Cuban Cuban baseball players, some of the best, dude. You know. I used no. to think a lot of the, the Japanese dudes be rocking it back in there because, you know, I was in California. I'm like, oh, you know, there wasn't that many, but then there was, you know, always in Cali, you'd always get, you know, a couple good guys like, oh, who's this dude, you know? And it's like, I, I miss going. I, I see, I, I, I'm like, I'm old school when it comes to like being a, a Giants fan. I only went to Candlestick. I haven't been to the new one. Yeah. And, and I, I was remember, almost. I remember there. both. Yeah. So you do, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it it's Matt, right? Yeah, Matt. So how? Um, if you don't mind me, how old are you, dude? Thirty. Okay. Oh man, and you got to go, so you do remember, yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I think I, I had like I want to say like three or four years at Candlestick. I remember 
Not Good. like I think I remember like I don't know maybe three or four games like actually going there and doing it. My mom oh. used to do the breast cancer stuff, so I remember we got to go on the field. They would they made like the ribbon out of the fans, so I remember doing that. Yeah, yep. got some autographs there. Um, but I, I remember Candlestick. I remember the Niners playing there too. I, yep. I miss I miss like all the early Niners, you know, all the all the Super Bowl rings, but. Um, the Niners don't play at the same stadium anymore? No, the Niners are way down south now. Like, kind of by San Jose. They're in Santa Clara. Oh, shoot. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget about I, that. Yeah. I boycotted for a year. Like, not <laughs> not, boy, not, not boycotted watching because I couldn't do that. But I, like, was offered, like, Giants tickets. And I'm like, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. What? I'm mad. Because I was so mad they moved out of the city. San Francisco offered them to build them a new stadium. And they bro, ran you, down. you're a real fan, bro. They ran down to Silicon Valley and they chased, <laughs> they chased me back. <laughs> San Jose ain't that bad. We, there, was, it was, there was thug life there, but it was, you know. <laughs> I'm, yeah. But I'm saying the city offered them a, bit, a, a brand new stadium. And it was going to be like all the stadiums yeah. would be next to each other because we just built yeah. the new Warrior Stadium what? in we're, wasn't there supposed to be that thing when member? I thought the Raiders and and, and the Forty ers were kind of supposed to share a stadium. Wasn't they were talking. Like they that? were talking about it for a minute, but the okay. Niners I didn't know if I got confused or something. Weren't about it. Weren't about it. I'm interested Man. to see how that whole Vegas thing goes for the. Ah, uh, yeah. Luis and I were talking about that. Isn't that yep. crazy? There was somebody. Uh, I was listening to somebody earlier, and they were saying that there's no parking there. Like you have to park and take like a thirty minute tram to the stadium. Yeah. They, um, they can afford it. Yeah, they, you know, they got money there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's gonna. The be betting good. is gonna be crazy. I don't want to. I don't want to. I hope they don't mess that uniform up too much because it's it's what's his name? Al, what was the the previous owner? Al. Um, Al Davis. Al Davis. Yeah, his son's running it now, right? Yeah. Yep. Mark Davis. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, I was. Yeah, dude. I know he's sharp as his dad, and I know the family's in on it. I tell you what, that no, like, what's that? Like Solskjaer. There's a Dodger card, bro. A Dodger card right there. <laughs> <laughs> For being on his live, you have to send that to him. <laughs> oh my god, dude, my fingers are burning too. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to go see a Dodgers game, though. You know. Yeah, that was my uncle never would take me to see their games. I go watch them in Dodger Stadium. I'll go out down to San Diego when they play the Padres. Go watch mm. them down there. Uh, also to Anaheim when they play the Angels. Yeah, y'all know the Kelly Hustle, Calvin. Yeah, yeah, I know who he is. No, I got. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back if you post this, Luis. So I'll go back and I'll uh, follow everybody in the chat and subscribe. Go yeah, yeah. I just put out a video too, my first one last week too. I I got a bunch of vintage shirts in the mail. All there's right. Like vintage rock shirts and there's yeah, um, yeah. a couple shirts. I got a couple shirts from Mike at Global Voodoo that I that are in the video. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna post this on. It's gonna go on onto my YouTube, so you'll be able to go back and check it out later. Yeah. Oh yeah, Luis. I, I, I put your link up on mine too the other day. So like anybody who shows up, I just okay. put there. I was like, hey, follow, follow, follow. So I appreciate mine. I, I put oh, your link up. Okay, cool. I didn't I even know R Roberto Kelly played for the Dodgers. Yeah, he did. I remember he, that. He coached. Uh, he was our first base coach for a long time at the Giants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man. There's an old Jason Giambi. Yeah. Oh, that name, man. I forgot about him. That was another good player, too. Jason I Giambi. have a... Um, I have a ton of vintage Raiders gear that I've been like. Oh, so oh I'm don't like, tell I, me. I see don't it tell and me. I'm like, Ugh, oh. like Raiders gear, but then it's like, oh. Oh, I, I got to buy it. Like, <laughs> oh, man. No, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm a diehard fan still. You're a diehard Raiders oh, fan? Uh, I am, dude. A diehard, bro. I mean, you know, let, give me give me a minute. I know exactly where they are. I'm going to go grab a cup. I got to go. <laughs> I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, go I'm, for it, man. Everybody goes, why you like the Raiders? And I'm like, dude, you know, back in the heyday, I'm like, John Madden, he was a Raider. What's mm -hmm. wrong with you? You, you know it, Luis. You, I know I, you, I, know, I, you know, you know, you know, you're sports. Me, he actually coached the Raiders too. Thank you. 
Yep. And he brought him. To, remember the very first world uh, of NFL. What do you call it? He, he, they won the first. What do you call it? The Super you know? Bowl. Didn't he? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. I'm glad you see. You know this because you you know you're from Cali. You get it. Yeah. And you know your sports. Yeah. You know he was a great player, just like Art Shaw was. Yes. All those all those guys are they're. Oh, good you know players. your stuff, bro. Yeah, I I forget a lot of my stats. I'm getting old, <laughs> but like. Yeah. You know, I remember, well, you know what it is? I had an uncle. He was a diehard Raiders fan. I, I didn't like him at first, you know, but after a while, like, you know, hanging out with him, like, we'd be watching the games all the time, and, you know, he, he'd get the shit face, drinking them, watching the yeah. Raiders. And, I mean, he would literally throw stuff when they didn't do good or something happened. Like, he was crazy. And, he was, you know, he's, we were born and raised in San Jose, but yeah. he was he would go to the games almost all the time to Oakland. And it's like, yeah. my uncle, how was the game? He's like, rah, 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 you know, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Well, I mean, a, lot of the, a lot of the cards that Matt was showing us of Ronnie Lott, he also played with the Raiders and, you know, yeah. who else was it? Jerry Rice also played with the Raiders too. I'm you trying know. to think, what was his name? Not Bo Jackson. I don't think so. Did he? No, not Ooh. Bo. Um, what's, what's his name? He, who crossed? He did baseball and then he went to football for a while too. Yeah, that was Paul Jackson. Bo Jackson. Was he in the Raiders? And, or, and uh, or, Deion Sanders did it too. Yeah, I love that man. I love those days. You don't see that too much, you know. Yeah, when well, they would play two sports, like they would play baseball when football season was out, and it was when, exciting. You know, it's like what? But yeah, a lot of people don't know. They don't recognize. They think Madden. Oh, he he got great video games, dude. Do you not know who he is? It's like, you know, and it's really? like. A lot, Go of back. Players, a lot of people forget that he was an actual player. And a good one, too. Yeah. Yeah. He John, played really good. John Madden from Daly City, Jefferson yeah. High School, the city the city right next to me. See, Matt yeah. knows exactly. You, what we Matt, you, you, guys, you guys are mad knowledge. You're going to have to re, you have to reschool me. It remind uh, me of, oh, uh, my God. Rare, uh, oh, old Nike. Nike. Is that like 90s? Yeah, I think this is late nineties. Yeah, it was like late nineties. Yeah. Yeah. Oakland. I had to bring LA, this one to just and then to... went back to Oakland. Yeah. <laughs> brought the giant. Oh, he I loves had, his shirts. A... Oh yeah, I love yeah. that shirt. Good athletics. Nice. Yeah. That's an old single stitch A's. I like all those pennants on it too. Yeah. That looks nice too. What is that? This a Raiders. No. Oh, man. Uh, I love well, I'm man. just saying, if you had to sell something like that, what would be your price on it? Not that you're going to let it go and sell it. But you, oh, you could have this. You could have this for 25 bucks. Just no because. way. Yeah, if you Dude, want it. I'll PayPal you tonight. Deal, you got it, bro. That's oh, a good deal. I see those oh, shirts oh. about 60, 70 what, bucks. That well, what shirt, size that, is if, it? If I listed that shirt, I would put like 50 on it. Yeah, you get like 50, 60 bucks. Yep. Matt, this, what size is it, bro? This is a the tag. Oh, nice is shirt. A little, the tag is a little gone. Send send me an email. You got a pen with you? If I had to say, I would say at least an XL. Yeah. I would say closer to a two XL. Oh, it does have a hole in it, brother. Though. I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care. You could leave all the holes in that, bro. It's like it's yeah, that would be a, a good shirt just to wear around the house, just when you're relaxing and stuff. I, I gotta represent even in Texas because all these damn Dallas fans, bro. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus, the big Texas. I mean, now he changed it to sumo wrestler or sumo. Yeah. Sumo. Th- I, I keep wanting to call him sumo Tex. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he, he's a big Dallas fan. Oh yeah, that's some sweet stuff. I know. Dude. I have a. I know. I have a couple of Raiders sweatshirts too. Um, I'll pull I used to uh, wear those sweatshirts in the Bay Area. You know, the, that know. cool you, breeze. You don't need them out there in Texas, though. <laughs> Not really. Look at that. Okay. So these are the shirts that I got at the state sale I was telling you about. That's paid, is that signed? I paid $2 for this tee. Nice. No, you didn't. No yeah. way. I, it's it's uh, screen printed on a signature, so it's not a real signature. But yeah, this is a uh, this is a single stitch. Single too. stitch too, yeah. So yeah. this was I want to say like his second year with the Giants when they were trying to do that MVP. Yeah. 
Dude, you so it? scored. Oh, there's Santana. Oh, Santana man. Giants. I got to see him in Stockton, California. I mm-hmm. and I I didn't smoke at least at that time, and I walked in that <laughs> that place coming out going. What's this feeling? I don't know. I went this lady. She's this little Filipino lady. She was probably like twice my age, but she's like, "We're gonna go see a Santana concert." And I said, "How much?" She's like, "Just you know, pay me later." Oh my gosh, man! And she dragged me to the front of the stage just so I would get a contact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just a contact, That's all you need. That's it it. Like, oh, dude, I was like the best time, and he was he was still good. It was in the nineties. It's like you know he was just killing it. He's he's still good now. So um, mm. my uh, my stepdad, he's he's like in the Mission District in the scene. Like he does, um, he helps mm. organize Carnival Festival. Oh, no, nice. so, and I he's know. always he's always played um, Latin music too. So he like yep. knows that whole circle and is all around yep. them. So I'm like. Mm-hmm. Especially growing up too, like that music was always playing, and it's just always good. Yeah, and it, and I don't know, it kind of reminds me of my youth of California too. Like he was, he was a soundtrack in my life. You know, you'd hear him a lot. Yeah. So this is oh, a look. this is a Grateful Dead Giants. That's oh awesome. That's awesome. That is, dude, that's I can't, money. I can't find money. any. I can't find any comps on this. Guess what? And I got you get to make your comps. Yeah, yep. I would say at least yeah. I would go four on that. I would go four. Cool, like yeah, if you're gonna put yeah. it up. You put the price and you start the comp on it. They're gonna lowball you anyway. Grateful yep. Dead is like crazy hot in like like mm. the kids my age, like in the vintage T-shirt scene. And yep. so this has Giants on it too. Like any Grateful Dead T-shirt is yep. like an easy one to one hundred twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, Grateful Dead Ooh. stuff sells. What's yep. those Nikes that came? Was it Nike that made the the Grateful Dead shoes? Yeah, the Nike Dunks. I almost got me some. I was like, because I'm I'm yeah. I'm trying to play like I'm a sneakerhead, but my friend he like texted, get on that app, you know, and it's like we'll yeah. split it. You know, he doesn't if he gets it, and if I get it, we like we'll split it, you know. Yeah, and I know. Then, I have a couple friends who do that, and they they make a killing if they if they get it. And they get them, I mean, yeah. if you, if they're tech savvy too, they have like fuck, they have like ten phones out there all at one time, like trying to get these shoes. It's insane. Mm-hmm. Luis, but, Matt, do you, do you guys do StockX? I I I'll go on there and check prices and stuff. I mean, I yeah. when I was when I was a little bit younger, I was more of a sneakerhead. But since I'm I've always been like a like a yeah. cheap like a cheapskate like. If I could get some shoes for that have been worn once, for right? Fifty. Well, I mean, you got that's how you, yeah, that's how we do it, you know. So yeah. that's how I am, and like I've had some some really big scores on just on like somebody like mm-hmm. I just got a pair of Jordan. Uh, I want to say they're sixes or sevens, and mm-hmm. the lady was like, "Oh, those are my sons. He left them here," and she was like, "I was like, how much?" She's like, five bucks," and like they're okay. real nice, no heel drag, no nothing. I looked them up already, and they're 120 bucks. Like for real, easy. So yeah, that's awesome. That's a good pick right there. So, dude, yeah, dude. but that's right how you survive. You know, uh-huh. this is what we do. You know, and why not do what we love? I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I gotta check on my son real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, do do it, bro. So yeah, dude. I, it's crazy by me. Like, well, they have flea markets and stuff, and a lot of the people don't really know what they have. And all like um I was always raised like to be fair, but at the same time it's like Yeah if you just have this and you don't know and somebody's gonna give you a dollar for it, like yeah. Yeah. here's yeah. I bought I bought fourteen WWF shirts at the flea market on Saturday and I walked up to the lady and I'm like, How mm. much? And she's like, I don't know, ten bucks and I'm like, here's twenty. So and I then, heard the San Antonio yeah. flea market down with see we don't have good flea markets too much. The, I mean, there's this, there's one that's like near me. It's practical stuff like tools, and stuff, but the ones in San Antonio, all the shirt rats come up to Austin and they'd be like, you know, we, we hustle and we fight at the, you know, the Google bins. You got bins, right? Yeah, we have bins. Yeah. So I, I don't, don't, know if I, don't I, I do them, um, but it's not really like my crazy, like my favorite thing to do. If, if I'm in no, the area, me neither. then I'll do them. Um, yeah. I only do it because like I wait for my daughter and like, and then I just give the I give the other guys competition. So once in a while I pull out some, but they be finding some good Grateful Dead stuff too. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah. But like if you're doing what you're doing, so you know how to do this. And if you got a flea market, like you said, and it's only fair. Like if you ask them, you go, "How much?" That's what they said. That's okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And like and like I said, like 
I got a, a 90, 1990 Harley and, a, and I asked the guy how much and he was like, oh, what do you think? Like, like $3. And I'm like, dude, like it's a single stitch Harley 1990 on like a, on a Haynes beefy. And I'm like, here, like here's 10 bucks. And like, here's my Good number. You. Any other, there shirt you go. That, there any you other go. shirt that you have, I will cash you out. You know what I mean? Tomorrow. Like, yeah. That's you, when you ask him, say, Hey, do you find these a lot? You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. I find them all the time. Here's my yeah. card. I'm going to give you $10. Just call me next time. Exactly. You know? So that's where we yeah. left it. And the guy already Don't texted me. He's sending, sending me. He didn't know how to send pictures on his phone, so I like walked him through sending pictures on his phone, and I'm like, "Send me all the t all the pictures of the shirts you have." So he's been like sending me shirts, and I'm like, "That one's cool, but you know, I'll pass on that mm -hmm. one." I'm like, "Keep mm -hmm. keep sending me shirts. I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy them." So like, that's the way you do, it, bro. That was just Sunday, and like, I, we have already exchanged like twenty texts. You got to do your connections, like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, big time. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna get off right now, man. I gotta put these kids to bed. It's already ten fifteen. Oh, They're still dude, up. I better go. I was yeah. gonna ask. This is the this or, is the shirt for ten bucks. Yeah, let them show you a shirt. That's awesome. Harley Davidson, nineteen ninety. Wow. Like I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna put this shirt up and I'll put like eighty eighty five dollars on it. What do they yeah. call those those Harleys that are like um um you know the, the ones that everybody's going after? Their they have the reflection on it. They're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're just called 3Ms, 3, three, three, three yeah. emblem, 3 emblem. Yeah. It's like yeah. the 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 printer who did them. I know you got to go, Luis. Hey, Matt, yeah, how do I get a hold of you, bro? How do I so get a hold of you? My email is creative higher eleven. Are you on Instagram? I am. I'll give you my Instagram. That'd be easier too. It's Mateo, M A T E O mm -hmm. underscore. Two one one S two elevens. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll I'll contact you there, bro. Send me some on there. I haven't been, I, don't, I don't really go on there much, but I'll, I'll I'll check it in the next couple of days and and I'll send you these shirts, brother. Yeah, whenever you do, you know, let me know how you want to do that or if you do. Yeah. Not for sure. I mean, they've been sitting here. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to kind of like wait for like football to take off and then i was gonna I love, list them. i love my raiders bro people people around here i'm lucky in the area i am like i have vintage shirts and they go fast even if i do local sales like offer up let go it's like gone like that yeah so they go fast yep i've been waiting on them but right on fellas good to meet y'all send me a message uh on instagram all, all right, right man thank right you on. you too right, louis fellas. i'll see you, you guys later have a good night, have a good night. Take care.